Welcome back to Ging Yang TK everyone and earlier this year the Sega Genesis Mini 2 was announced that it was going to come into Japan but not only that it was also going to be coming here on the state side and guess what it finally arrived here in the United States so let's get to the unboxing. <laughs> One of the first things that you notice about the package is how tiny the package is and overall the artwork here is just gorgeous. It just reminds me so much of the very first video game console that I ever gotten when I was a kid when I was seven years old and it just brought that nostalgia of me buying a Sega Genesis and playing video games for the very first time in my house. But another thing that I noticed as well is just the size difference between the Gen 1 model and the Gen 2 model just compared in the boxes. The Gen 2 is a lot more smaller than the first one and you can kind of see from the display how it is. And I even made a case of how big of this box is or tiny it is compared to the actual Sega Genesis model. As I begin to unbox the Sega Genesis 2 model, I can't help but think that the box could have been a little bit bigger because I just think that when you put everything away and put it, everything back, the box is just going to expand. But as I unbox it, the first thing that comes out is the AC adapter cable that powers up your system. The next thing is the HDMI cable that connects the system to a monitor of high definition. The next thing that pops out from the box, Sega Genesis six button controller. You have three buttons on the top, three buttons on the bottom, the start button, the D-pad. Everything looks amazing like I remember the six button controller. The next thing is the AC adapter charger, uh, the AC wall outlet. And the last but not least is the most important thing is the actual Sega Genesis Mini 2 console, which is absolutely gorgeous, nostalgia, best Sega Genesis Mini out there right now. And that's everything that is included in the box. Another cool feature they added on the Sega Genesis 2 model is that they actually added the compartments on the bottom in which you can actually add the Sega CD Tower 2 or the Tower of Power as it is famously known. All you have to do is just detach the two compartments uh, on the left side of the Sega Genesis 2 model and you put it all together so hopefully they do sell it on the state side but i highly doubt it to turn on the genesis all you have to do is press the power button on the left side while the reset button is on the right now for the mini one it's exactly the same thing the only difference is that the left one is actually a switch button while on the right is the reset button which takes you to the game select screen the last comparison is the gen 1 and gen 2 mini consoles in which you see the gen 1 is a lot bigger than the gen 2 2. The only difference is the Gen 2 has more games and we're going to see how it starts up. When we turn on the Genesis 2, we see all the different game selects in which we see both Sega Genesis and Sega CD games all throughout. And when you go in to a select game like Sonic CD, for example, it gives you the US version or the EU version. Once you go in, you go in and you play the game and when you get in it, it's just nostalgia all the way around. You're basically playing Sega CD like you were playing it all the way back in the 1990s and it plays flawlessly. Pretty awesome. Everything looks cool. And when you notice how you get out of the game, it automatically tells you that you can save it or you can just restart going back to the game select screen. And once you go there, you notice that when we go to the settings, you can actually change the language. And when you change the language from English to Japanese, it actually changes the whole outlook and layout of the Sega Genesis Mini 2 console in which you see all of the games in Japanese cover arts compared to the American counterpoint. And you can switch it back as well. And then you notice when it goes back to the American side that it has all the classic Gen 2 uh, Sega Genesis and Sega CD. So overall it plays really well and you can kind of divide and uh, group the different Sega CD games with the Genesis games but overall it plays very awesome and I have to say it's one of the best mini consoles out there at the market today. What are your thoughts on the Sega Genesis Mini 2? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you going to plan to buy it? 
write your comments below. And if you like the content of this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification so you know when future videos are available. All right, everyone, stay awesome.